everyone, how's it going? Yes, we're gonna finish Halo today. We only got four levels to go, that's basically. There's only ten levels in the game total. Uh, the four of the worst levels, but still, you know, it is what it is. I really want to get this finished. Then we move on to the next game, which is still going through the lists. So this level was never meant to be in the final game. It ended up being in the game because well, they had to rush to get it finished and that was it. Also, yes, I did download the, uh, the microchip update processor bios and everything so I should be good to go no just to clarify something I do work at Intel by the way I can't say what I do there but I do work there uh, people were bitching about the fact that Intel was not going to RMA processors over microcode it's microcode you just patch it out it's really not that big of a deal. But the part that's fucked up is the fact it took them this long to fix the problem. That's the part that's fucked up. I agree with people on that. And there's a whole story about why it was like that. There's actually a good reason. Uh, I can't say too much because I work in Intel and we have an NDA I signed there. So I can't say too much. But long story short, uh, the economy was all screwed up. And Intel had to fix its operations on that first before they could take care of these other problems. And they had other things goofing around the company that they recently took care of like those all those layoffs uh, that happened recently uh yeah most of those were construction workers the reason why they were laid off is because they finished construction that's it they finished the contract they were contracted to people that's it they leave and they go do a project somewhere else some of those were also uh, internal employees. Some were just bad actors for the company. Some were just some retired. Uh, we got a few more retiring this month, but we did hire a bunch of new people lately. So there's all new faces coming in at Intel right now. I know who's I'm showing people around. You know how to use the cafeteria, where the bathrooms are, elevators, what to report to, stuff like that. And we got more coming also. We got more people coming in. So yeah, so th things are going okay at Intel. It was just been, it was a rough patch during the whole. Uh, inflation period, basically. We are near the index table. Follow me. The energy from the clocks contains the index. We must get up there. the reason why I will never play this again on legendary mode. I hate this level with a passion. When I look up guides on how to beat it on higher difficulties, they're like really, really dumb. Like, it's going to take a long time. Just walk through it. Closely, this portal is the first. Yeah. 
Wesley. You brought such ineffective weapons to combat the flood, despite the containment protocols. Blood must not escape the inspiration. You can see how the body's been transformed by the genetics of the blood infection. The small creature carries more than it has on both. Then you can see the blood Installations research facilities are most impressive. Perhaps you will have time to see them later. Supplement your combat systems. But I suggest you upgrade to at least a class 12 combat skill. Your current model only scans as a class 2, which is ill suited for this kind of work. stuff because I can't talk about it so much because the NDA is talked about but I do feel like it's getting blown a little too far out of proportion like why could they already made this stuff it's just microcode they just patch it it sucks that it took him this long to do it that's the part that sucks that I can agree with but it was really more of an um, economy issue with inflation and it's hard to figure out how to get their finances sorted out because there's a lot of stuff that happened over the past few years a lot so no. Flood activity has caused a failure in a drone control subsystem. I must reset the backup unit. Please continue on. I will rejoin you when I have completed my task. use their weapons to manage the flood only for a short time. Speed is of the essence.
slick here. Follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. I know I don't read chat as much because people don't chat in my streams, but you know, hey. species currently on the installation is responsible for releasing the flood. They seem most persistent in their attempts to access restricted areas.
but is simply too dangerous to release, and mass sterilization protocols may again need to be enacted. Of course, samples were kept here after the last catastrophic outbreak. For study, it seems that decision may have been in order. was specifically built to study and contain the flood. Their survival as a race was dependent upon it. I am grateful to see that some of them survived to reproduce. Activate the security lock. Wait here.
intelligence. surrounding the index will deactivate when we reach the ground floor. You may now retrieve the index. requires that I take possession of the index for transport. Your organic form renders you vulnerable to infection. The index must not fall into the hands of the flood before we reach the control room and activate the installation. The flood is spreading. We must hurry. Okay, things go from bad to worse. Watch. Which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential factor. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Splendid. Shall we? Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the index with the core. That final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. Cortana. I've spent the last 12 hours cooped up in here watching you toady about helping that thing get set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, is he? Your chum? Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? Yes. Activate Halo's defenses and destroy the Flood, which is why we brought the Index to the Control Center. You mean this? A construct in the core? is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off! What impertinence! I shall purge you at once! You sure that's a good idea? How? How? How dare you? Oh! Do what? I have the index. You can just float and sputter. Enough! The flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Hey, 
Halo doesn't kill Flood. It kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. Is it true? More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how couldn't you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your query, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take her from you. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Look out! We can't let the Monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant Battle see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. Halo's final weapon without the index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. The power levels are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate the pulse. I'm trying to see if there's any health up here. There might be some down below. So, if we damage or destroy these generators, the monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. I'm marking the location of the nearest pulse generator with a nav point. We need to move in and neutralize the device.
those banshees. We need it to reach the port barrier in time. Good. Let's get moving. The Nathan starts our time.
show her fusion reactors are still powered up. The systems on the Pillar of Autumn have fail-safes even I can't override without authorization from the captain. We need to find him or his neural implants to start the fusion for that need. That tunnel leads to the next step in the planet. The final test that we need to destroy is through there.
target neutralized. Let's get out of here. Let's find a ride and get to the captain. No, that'll take too long. You have a better idea? There's a teleportation grid that runs throughout Halo. That's how the monitor moves about so quickly. I learned how to tap into the grid when I was in the control center. Unfortunately, each jump requires a rather consequential expenditure of energy. Something tells me I'm not gonna like this. But I'm pretty sure I can pull it from here without permanently damaging the system. Needless to say, I think we should only try to do this. Do it. We're almost there. Now we're gonna find a weapon to catch the keys and we get the hell out of here. for immediate departure. I've got a good lock on Captain Key's CNI transponder signal. He's alive, and the implants are intact. There's some interference from the cruiser's damaged reactor. I'll bring us in as close as I can. Oh, oh I see. The coordinate data needs to be... This way, towards the ship's gravity. The crash did more damage than I suspected. Coolant leakage rate is significant. The ship's reactor should already have gone critical.
power source detected. There's the gravity lift. It's still operational. That's our way back in. Battle.net is a mess. I can't access the ship's schematics. My records indicate that a shuttle bay should be here. Look in the corners. The Flood are gathering bodies here. We should be able to reach the control room from the third level. He's delirious! In pain, we have to find him!
human life signs detected. The captain, he's one of them. We can't let the flood get off this ring. You know what he'd expect. What he'd want us to do. It's done. I have the code. We should go. We need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Let's go back to the shuttle bay and find a ride. Second least favorite. Overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring.
get to work. enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. Oh, hell. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge? Weren't you worried it might be captured or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tab. You can't imagine how exciting this is! To have a record of all of our lost time. Human history is it? Fascinating. Oh, how I will enjoy every moment of its categorization. To think that you would destroy this installation as well as this record. I am shocked. Almost too shocked for words. He stopped the self-destruct sequence. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win! Give us the construct, and I will endeavor to make your death relatively painless. And At least I still have control over the comm channels. Where is he? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor, he's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why... Okay, I'm coming with you. Chief, Sentinels! was heavily damaged when it crashed. Head to the cryo chamber. We should be able to get to the engine room through there.
did this, it was a pain in the ass. The monitor has disabled all command access. Let's hope it goes smooth. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. The problem really is the jumping, that's the problem. Destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need to pull back the exhaust coupling. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. Signal for evac. There's a service lift at the top of the engine. The flood can need to to the service right? corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry!
a sad story. It's like, the first game was so good, but all the sequels after that were terrible. Shut them down, we'll need them later. And the fans just hype it up, like, no tomorrow. It's like, the first game was great, everything after that was a mess. Can't see a look. There was never supposed to be any sequels to Halo. It was never supposed to happen. They were supposed to hand off Halo Reach to another studio to make an RTS game out of it. That's what they were trying to make in the first place. But Microsoft, because they owned Bungie at the time, they said, no, you gotta make Halo 2. And we got Halo 3 and Halo, you know, eventually Halo Reach, which those games aren't really all that great. I played them, I I beaten them maybe once or twice. Whereas the first guy beaten hundreds of times, so that probably says which games are actually good. You know. In fact, I would argue the 343 games are arguably better. <laughs> Not completely. They got issues too, but I think the 343 games are actually better. Like Halo 4 is the true Halo 2 in my opinion. That game goes where Halo 2 should have went. And then Halo 5, which is still a really good game. It's just the ending that sucked. That was it. Everything else about the game was fantastic. Yeah. That's just my opinion, though. I'm not going to, like, force anybody. Okay, so thank you for joining me. Hope you had a great time, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Take care.